This video will show how to properly install the universal hammer back onto a cordless and a corded hammer drill. Once you open the case for the universal hammer back, you can inspect it and notice that the battery goes here. You can take this attachment and it can go on either side. There's an arrow pointing on both sides depending on which side you put your handle on. So you can put it on this side or if you want to put your handle on the other side, you'll put it on this side. Just make sure that it is on the same side of the side that you want your handle on. So once you have that on, you'll take your handle and it can go on either side of the universal hammer back. So you put it on here and you clamp it down. Once you have it clamped down, you will slide it over your hammer drill. Once you have it slid over the hammer drill, you will tighten this down to tighten it. Once it is tightened, you can take your SDS bit and insert it into your hammer drill. Once it is inserted to your hammer drill, you set this flush and you can adjust the depth for how you, deep you want your concrete hammer drill to drill. So in this video here, we have set it for two inches. You can, once you're done, you can lift the lever and remove it. And the HEPA filter is stored on the back of the hammer back, as you can see here. The universal hammer drill comes with different handles depending on what type of hammer drill you're putting on. As you can see here, we're going to be using a smaller handle for the corded Bosch here. So we'll remove the old one that we used for the cordless, put the handle on this smaller one. We'll grab our universal hammer back, put it on the left side again. You can put it on the right side if you so choose to. Once you tighten it on there, you slide it over your hammer drill. You tighten it onto it. Grab this attachment and remember that it is always on the same side as your handle. So on this one, the handle is on the left, so we're going to put it on the left. You could put it on the right if it was on the other side of your hammer drill. So you put it on there, rotate it to your right, set it flush, adjust the depth for how deep you want the concrete hammer drill to drill. So here we have it set for two inches. And once you're done, you can remove this. Loosen the clamp to take the universal hammer back off. And the filter, as said before, is on the back. The operator's manual is located in this pouch of the carrying case for the universal hammer back. If we open up the operator's manual and go to page 2, turn off the tool, remove the battery pack, and remove the HEPA filter. If necessary, pull the HEPA filter away from the dust box and tap to clean. Do not clean with water or compressed air. After about 1500 holes or loss of suction, discard and replace the HEPA filter. Keep the filter clean. Efficiency of the hammer vac is largely dependent on the filter. A dirty filter will reduce the airflow and overall efficiency of the system. Do not clean with water or compressed air. Remove from dust box and tap to clean. This picture shows the incorrect and the correct way to adjust the hammer drilling depth. As you can see, when adjusting the depth, make sure to have it flush with the end of the concrete hammer drill bit. Make sure to stop and empty the dust box when the suction has decreased or when the dust begins to come through the bit brush. This is important because the HEPA filter on the Milwaukee Universal Hammerback is not self-cleaning and will need to be replaced when this occurs.